All right. So this video is the first stats video I'm going to do. Let's see if that goes well or not. Uh, but we're going to look at um, one of the most uh, commonly used and straightforward uh, statistical tests uh, in the industry. Um, and uh, usually when we use statistical tests, it's uh, to be able to make conclusions about the difference between um, groups or about patterns in data if we want to be perhaps a bit more general. So statistical test is usually uh, based on some kind of, um, uh, it's usually based on probabilities that the observed pattern uh, in a data, data set is likely to be due to chance or not. So the probability that it's uh, produced by chance level. And uh, that's usually what we're, uh, what we're asking ourselves. So if we make the assumption then that um, I've uh, uh, measured one variable in two different groups, it could be whatever, it could be height, uh, uh, weight, uh, temperature, productivity, oxygen consum consumption, you have it, whatever. So we have two groups, A and B. So we have measured a number of individuals. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individuals in group A and eight individuals in group B. And I I got different values for each individual. And I want to ask myself, okay, so is it, uh, is it likely that the difference between these groups uh, is due to chance or not? So assuming that uh, these are completely different individuals, so it's not the same individual that I've measured twice, uh, we can use uh, what is called a t-test to compare these two. We could also use an ANOVA, but using an ANOVA on uh, only uh, one uh, group difference or two groups like this, uh, one factor, it's uh, basically the same thing as using a t-test. Uh, so basically, uh, a t-test then would assume that if we take all of this data, put it together, and we generate a mean and a, and a standard deviation for it, so basically uh, the spread of the data, and if we sample or if we assume that these ones come from the same um, same population with uh, a similar mean, how likely are we uh, to generate these two samples? Uh, how probable is that? But uh, so let's try to do the test. Uh, so we have to go to data and get this data analysis. If you don't have this, you should watch my other video about how to get analysis tool pack. So this is analysis tool pack. And here we have various uh, different tests that we can do. Here it is in Swedish, sorry. Um, so what uh, there are, uh, what we're gonna use is the two sample t-test assuming different variances. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, and uh, if we click OK here, we're gonna, it's gonna ask us to put variable one, and it's gonna ask us to put in variable two. And then it's going to, uh, we're gonna press OK, and we're gonna get our statistical uh, test um, response here. So it's gonna show us the mean for both groups and the variance for both groups. We can check this and compare ourselves. So I calculated myself the mean of group A and the mean of group B is 24 and 30. So that's the same. And the variances I've also calculated using the variance commands in Excel. So those are the same number of observations. Yes. And then uh, here we then get a lot of different uh, funny uh, values. So first it, it calculates this uh, what we call a the t value. So that's um, a measure of the of the difference between them, and um, it's going to give us a p value. So p value is usually is the one we're interested in. So that's the probability of, uh, of getting this specific difference. Um, giving this many, many observations and this, uh, these amounts of variance um, under the assumption that we have uh, one single population. So basically are assuming that they're all the same. So 
when it says e to the power of minus 5, it means that it's uh, 10 to the power of minus 5. So that's 1 in 5 in, in uh, sorry, uh, 0 0.0005. Uh, probability where one is 100% probability, so that will be 1% probability, one in 1,000, one in 10,000, so it's five in uh, 100,000 chance that we would have produced this uh, this um, pattern uh, randomly. Um, or if we assume, and this is assuming that we know the difference would be in one or the other way, that we call it a, a one-tailed, but if we want to be more more conservative, we, we if we don't know which of the two variables would be higher or lower, we would look at this one, uh, where we have uh, basically twice the, the probability. So this is more conservative. So anyways, it's very low probability. We generally accept, um, say that the, the that there, there is a significant difference between the two groups if the p-value is lower than 0 0.005, and this is then uh, quite a bit below that. So likely these groups are are significantly different from each other. That's what the statistical test tells us.